Home Minister Mohidin Yassin said it is up to the government to decide if they want to reconsider their stance on the Anti-Fake News Act, but there are other laws in place to tackle the spread of fake news as well. Well, it's something that we might want to rethink if that is necessary. But what's important is the current situation. How do you deal with it? And we have other laws as well. As you mentioned just now, under the penal code, the police is taking action based on that, which is quite forceful enough. Uh, secondly, of course, Ms. Uh, uh, Surahan Jaya Multimedia. Muhyiddin was responding to a question on former law minister Azalina Othman Said, who had criticized the government for repealing the Anti-Fake News Act. In a Twitter post yesterday, Azalina said that the spread of fake news was the kind of problem the Barisan National Government had wanted to stop with the Anti-Fake News Act. Five people have been detained so far for suspected distribution of fake news content about the coronavirus outbreak. In a statement today, the Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission, or MCMC, announced the detention of four individuals this morning. The MCMC said enforcement officers from the commission carried out four raids with the help of the police. Another man was detained by the MCMC in Bangi yesterday.